All right, folks, I've been talking about this for a while now, and I finally purchased a new car. The M2 is gone, and in this video, I'm going to explain why I purchased this car. It's sitting right there. And I'm also going to explain what's coming up for the future of the channel. So, what did I purchase? Twenty sixteen Porsche Macan. Now that I own a Porsche, I'll say Porsche. I'm very excited for this car. There's a lot of comparisons I'm going to be doing with the Model Y, some upgrades to it. And these things have fallen in price so much that they cost like as much as a Hyundai. So I'll tell you exactly how much I paid for it and what's coming up. This car has 70,000 miles on it. I purchased it for $37,000. For my M2, I purchased that for $46,000 years ago, and I didn't have to pay taxes on it because it was a private sale. So in this case, I didn't have to pay taxes on this either. The dealership actually wrote me a check for about $13,000 because they gave me $50,000 for the M2. I got this for $37,000, so I get the difference back. So essentially with the tax savings, if I were to just buy this outright, taxes would have been about $3,000. So I essentially got $53,000 for the M2. I had it listed for 55, so I was happy with that deal. It's also very rare that you get to drive a car for 15,000 miles and you're able to make a profit off of it. It's a 2016 Macan S. The exterior is sapphire blue metallic and it's the standard black interior with the sport seats. It has the 21 inch Porsche classic 911 wheels. It's a three liter twin turbo V6, 340 horsepower, 339 pound feet of torque. And it has the Porsche PDK transmission. That's a huge reason as to why I wanted to get this car because the PDK is arguably the best, tra it, it is the best transmission on the market. It shifts fast and it's bulletproof. The dealership also threw on brand new tires for me. They threw on all season tires, so that was like $1,600. Just the quality of this car overall is incredible as you can see by some of these shots. But I'm just gonna go through some of the standard equipment that we have here. This thing new cost $81,164. It's insane. And then to get it for 37 and be in the shape that it's in, I'm pretty lucky. 19.8 gallon fuel tank. So it gets like four to 500 miles of range depending on conditions. In the rear here, they're 295 wide tires. It has a staggered setup. 295 in the back, 265 in the front. Kind of annoying to have a staggered setup because you can't rotate the tires all the way around. So that's a bit of a nuisance, but oh well. So it has the Porsche air suspension. It's incredible. You're able to lower and raise the car and it has adaptive suspension based on what drive mode you're in. We'll take it for a drive here shortly. It has the sport design package with side skirts. So what that means is on the rear of the car here, you can see it's painted all the way under uh, the exhaust. The exhaust is also the sport exhaust with the black chrome tips. So there's a setting where you can open the valves up and that sounds incredible. Also looks nice with the black matching this. This black though is not standard. You can see it's peeling off there. It's looked like this is possibly plasti dipped. So I'm either gonna have these professionally painted or just buy new lettering. It has park assist front and rear. The window trim is in high gloss black. It has lane change assist, 14 way power seats that are heated and cooled. And out here, you have to have cool seats. Keeps your grundle uh, cool. Has sport chrono package, so it has launch control. Has the sport design mirrors, which are designed slightly different than the standard mirrors that come on the car. Side blades are in the exterior color. Normally these are black, or you can also get them in carbon fiber. That may be something that I replace, because you can see right here, there's some marring just from 
rocks and things hitting the side of the car over time. But again, these are all things that I'm excited to do with the car, kind of bring it back to life. Truthfully, the car is in excellent shape. I'm just happy I got it for the price that I did. I might do a tune to it, a lot of detailing videos, and then comparisons to the Y. So I, I think this is gonna be a great car to own. Like I mentioned earlier, it has the 21 inch Sport Classic wheels in platinum satin. Trying to figure out the color, it's almost like a goldish silver, so they look really good. It has premium package plus and sport chrono clock or compass dial in white. So getting the compass dial in white and the sport chrono and all that stuff, plus the seat belts are in guards red. So the seat belts kind of add some contrast to the interior, which is nice to break up all of the black. So. Yeah, this thing is a great spec. I was kind of open to several options, but let's take it for a ride. Folks, as I mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN, which is a virtual private network. All of the information that you send over the internet is encrypted. Now, you guys like to watch this channel, so I know you're slightly off. So you wanna have all of that information encrypted and protected that you're sending out on the internet. This will protect you from big companies and cyber criminals. So for example, I'm currently in a public park and there's a cyber criminal in that truck back there. He's sitting there acting like he's on lunch when really he's trying to hack into this car, get my information and take my YouTube money. He will be very disappointed when he sees what it actually is. So the Surfshark VPN can swap your actual location and go anywhere in the world. And a reason that this would be useful, let's say your favorite show is on Hulu right now, but you only have a Netflix subscription. You can go and change your location to a country that has your show on Netflix. So I think that's really cool. And it's also totally legal. So for my viewers, the link is in the description. You get 83% off and an extra three months free, along with free access to their antivirus only for June. So the antivirus part of this is only for June. Everything else is you get your 83% discount and your extra three months free using code Jeebs. Surfshark has done a deal with me before. I really like them. You guys showed them support, so they came back for another one. So support Surfshark. Let's try to get them to be a consistent sponsor of the channel. Surfshark, thank you for sponsoring the video. Guys, link is in description. 83% off, three months free. You basically have no risk, and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So my question to you is, what the fuck are you waiting for? Go to surfsharkvpn.com, link in description, and sign up. Protect yourself from cyber criminals, folks. He looks like he's just doing landscaping. He's hacking the network. Driving the Macan, it's currently 100,000 degrees outside in Phoenix, 103. Has cooled seats, which actually work. Feels very nice. You just don't get the back sweat. Ladies, for short shorts, these are leather seats. Your legs are still gonna sweat. It works a little bit on your thighs, but don't expect it to fix thigh sweat. I apologize. The other things, you can take a look at the buttons here. We've got Sport. Sport Plus, we have the suspension adjustment, which if you tap that, that's in the stiffest setting. Now it's in the softest setting, and then you can raise or lower the car by clicking that. So now we're going into a low level. It's pretty amazing. Also over here, you have the Sport Exhaust button. So when you hit that, those close the valves there, and we'll open them. And it makes an audible difference when you're in the cabin. Steering wheel's in great shape. You have your PDK paddle shifters that are wheel mounted. So those are very nice. The feel of them when you pull them back is perfect. They're so well tuned. And then we also have the white dials here. So we'll go down into fourth gear. It's just very quick and responsive. Yeah, I just really enjoy this car along with the guards red seat belts to kind of break up all the black in here. Visibility is really good. Ride quality is excellent and also the cabin noise in here. They're 21 inch wheels. The tire height is only 35, so they're pretty thin and it rides very quiet. I'm just really impressed with this car. I'm really excited to do a bunch of videos on it. Also another feature here, we have a fully panoramic roof. So if I hit this button, 
it takes that all the way back. And then the sunroof on top of that opens all the way up. It's like, it's crazy. And then we'll do a little tunnel acceleration here. But it's just such a fun car. I mean, it rips and really, really what makes this car is the transmission. It's closely based on the Audi SQ5 the, and the Q5 chassis. Porsche has done a lot beyond that to make it different. I think it's an Audi engine as well. The newer, I think 2019 plus Macans have Porsche sourced engines. So those are gonna be, you know, even better. But yeah, for the price that I got it for and uh, just the, really the main reason that I had to get rid of it is because we're having a baby soon and the, Jamie doesn't want to drive manual transmission in the M2. Plus having a coupe and putting the car seat back there, just, it doesn't make sense. So this for videos is gonna be great. Also, I plan on ordering either a Model 3 Long Range or a Model 3 Performance. I haven't decided on which one yet. You guys can let me know which one you think down in the comments below. I'm also considering ordering an Audi RS3 and putting those both on Turo. Here we go. Jeez, that exhaust sounds so good. But we're on our way to Bikini Coffee because Andrew needed it. So, Jamie, if you're watching, this is Andrew's fault. I don't want to be here, but that's where we're going. So, we're going to Bikini Coffee to get some coffee, and then we're going to Dynamic Tint to see Tyler, and uh, we'll see where the day takes us. Well, folks, we've made it to Bikini Coffee. Is it zoomed in really far in my face? Yeah. And uh, that's that. They, ser they actually do serve great drinks here. All right, so I already crushed my Bikini Coffee. Jacob's here, Auto Autopsy, another local YouTuber. If you remember, the keen viewer will know that he reviewed my ST. What, like three, four years ago? Three or four years yeah, ago, so time. it's been a while. So he has his S3 here. I'll have his channel linked in the description so you can see what he's doing to it. But I just came in to see Tyler, show him the car, and we are going to try and buff the and fix these headlights right now. So we're going to like sand them down and then we're gonna put some Expel PPF on them to bring them back to life. Cause really that's like the worst part of the car right now is the, uh, is the headlights, but we're gonna see what we can do and fix them up. You guys know I've been here at Dynamic Tints. The cars in here that come in and out are not, there's a SVR Jag uh, sitting out there right now. So let's see if we can get it fixed up. sand we did the polish and then he just put on this new expel film that has what's it actually called it's called expel fusion yeah so it has their fusion ceramic coating infused into the film so instead of you having to then go and put a ceramic coat on top of your ppf it's already put into here so it's gonna be really cool to have this on the car as well and that's what he's putting on jacob's s3 yeah so here's the after product so here's what it looked like before 70,000 miles of wear and tear on it, pretty beat up. And then now, I mean, that didn't even take that long. And we got this Expel put on it and cleared up some of the fogginess. So looks excellent. Also, Expel, fans of Porsche, which is great. Also, check out this 992-911 Turbo S in chalk. I think it's a 992 has shark blue seat belts, the deviated centers on the interior. I mean, this thing is crazy. And they're totally covering this in Expel PPF. And it has an Acropovic exhaust here. I mean, that's thousands of dollars. It might be 10 grand. I don't know, folks, Porsche and Tesla, what do you think? Is it a good, is it a good one too right now? All right, so the improvements have already begun on the Macan. Thanks to Tyler at Dynamic Tint for taking care of the headlights like right away, that's awesome. There's a lot coming on this car that I'm going to be doing to it, a lot of detailing. I might do a Cobb stage one tune, maybe some suspension work, wheel paint. I don't know, it, it's endless. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Also, thank you Surfshark for sponsoring the video. Guys, check out Surfshark, link is in description. We'll see you next time. Please like the video, because this one's over.